a brother uh, who wants to be anonymous. He says, if a person touches his mother with the desire and lust while she's sleeping and when he got to know about the ruling in Hanafi fiqh that his mother's and father's marriage will not be valid anymore, should he go to his parents and tell them that their marriage is void? Unfortunately, it seems that this issue is prevailing nowadays among a lot of the youth, a lot of the Muslims. And it is based on a concept known in some books of fiqh as hurmatul musahara, where the Hanafi school of thought made it prohibited for a person once indulged in any haram activity with a woman to get married to anyone else in her family that she is considered to be mahram too. So for example, if a person fornicates with a woman, he cannot marry her daughter, her sister, her mother, etc. Now, some blind followers of the Hanafi madhab cascaded this a little bit further and said, even if he looked at her, touched her, kissed her, hugged her, even if he did not go to third base, if just done these things, that would also prohibit it. So this concept is not found in the vast majority of schools of thought because the logical thing is that a prohibited act such as fornication does not make halal things haram. So if someone committed zina with a woman, what does this have an impact on upon him marrying her sister or even her daughter or her mother? Yes, the fornication bit is haram, but this does not prohibit any further. The, the problem nowadays is that, that this concept of hurmat al-musahara has been cascaded by laymen, by people of ignorance, to the extent that they went really overboard with. So nowadays I get people coming to me and saying to me that, like this brother, that when he was 15 years of age, he used to look at his mother in a strange way. And sometimes he may try to touch her. Or, a'udhu billah, this is yani, unimaginable. But some people are perverts. Some people, when they are not equipped with proper iman, and when they're not abiding by the Quran and the Sunnah, while being exposed to uh, video clips, songs, movies, uh, uh, soap operas, where they see what provokes their desire and lust and don't have any place to express that other than what they find. May Allah protect us and the Muslims. So this man nowadays thinks that, oh, because I did this, my mother's and father's marriage is void, is broken due to hurmat al-musahara which means that they are living in haram and all their children that resulted from the, this relationship are born out of wedlock. And you get people coming to me saying that we have this wiswas, I don't know how to act upon it and how to behave, should I go and tell my parents? And, and this is baseless, totally baseless, not found in Islam altogether. Who in his right mind would come and say, this couple's marriage is void. Why? Was it wrongfully done? He said, no, 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 no. The guardian gave his daughter to this man in marriage 
and he accepted in the presence of two male witnesses. He gave the dowry. Everything was halal. Everything is fine. Okay. They love one another. They love one another and they have children. Okay. But the man's father looked at his daughter-in-law in a lustful way. And once he was drunk, he tried to grope her. He, he tried to do inappropriate things to her. So now the marriage is void. Who said so? Why would we separate between two lawfully married couple who love one another because of a mistake that they had no hand in it? It doesn't make any sense. What, what religion states this? Islam has nothing to do with that. These are all forms of ignorance, whether blind following imams or scholars or whatever, who don't know their heads from their feet and who just follow the books blindly without thinking whether it has traces of it in the Quran or in the Sunnah or it does not. So in a nutshell, this concept of hurbat al-musahara does not exist. It is bogus. It is totally fabricated. Even if the father-in-law rapes his daughter-in-law, may Allah yani, protect us all, hypothetically. The guy is drunk, the guy is nuts, the guy is whatever. Why would I separate between the man and his wife? Because of the sin and mistake of a lunatic. This is totally not true and not found.